Goal 3 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals is targeting a drop in global maternal mortality ratio to 70 per 100,000 live births by 2030. To attain this goal, member countries are expected to put in place the right systems to facilitate the achievement of the goal. However, some health facilities in the country are struggling to provide quality services to pregnant women who report with life-threatening complications. Statistics at the Tamale Teaching Hospital indicates the facility recorded 57 maternal deaths in 2021 against 49 deaths in 2020. Hypertension topped the list with 24 deaths, with hemorrhage, sickle cell disease, and acute kidney injury killing seven, six, and three mothers respectively. The Director of Medical Affairs of TCH, Dr. Adam Atiku, who spoke to the media on the sidelines of its annual performance review meeting, noted that most of the cases were late referrals from other facilities. The key thing is that this suggests that our referral system is working, but then the referrals were late. So most of them came in a very critical condition, and at that point, there was nothing much we could do. To help us reduce the maternal mortality this coming year, we are seeking to work with our with the Ghana Health Service to strengthen the referral system so that the patients can refer early to us. Second, if you look at the top the 10 causes of maternal deaths, you realize that the, most of them are medical conditions in pregnancy, hypertension, kidney problems, and these conditions need support services to help the mothers. These support services come in, ter in terms of ICU equipments and then dialysis machines. And these machines are usually uh, very expensive when we don't have them in the hospital or what we have is woefully inadequate. And even the ones that we have, most patients are not able to afford. So when patients come and they need dialysis, by the time the family will rush around and get the, the support, the money for the dialysis, it will have been lit. So we are also appealing that they add the expert dialysis for acute cases, especially in the obstetrics, to be covered by the National Health Insurance. That will help us a lot. Speaking of the theme, re-engineering TTH healthcare, landscape for quality tertiary service provision and medical tourism, the acting CEO of the hospital, Dr. Karim Mumuni, emphasize the need to re-engineer the systems and structures in order to improve healthcare delivery as well as boost revenue mobilization. I wish to remind us all once again that excellence simply put means superior and outstanding and demands sophisticated cutting-edge infrastructure, diagnostic, therapeutic and therapeutic services such as MRI, CT scan, endoscopy, laparoscopy, just to mention a few. This also demands, demands specialization and specialization of human resource skill mix across all levels of care. Then, the obvious implication of excellence, therefore, is the continuous availability of required and appropriate mix of resources, both material and human. The first part of our statement reads, to provide quality and affordable health care. As it is with the quest of excellence, the big question that begs to be answered is, how do we finance quality? The answer lies in how engineers will become, as a facility, in engineering our systems and structures to become more creative, innovative in our revenue mobilization activities.